Hello guys, welcome back and if you know me then you know that I actually really love waking up early. But I will say it wasn't always this way I absolutely hated it for a long time. You know the thing about waking up early is that it's an acquired taste. It's not fun for a little while until you do it over and over and over again and then all of a sudden. It's all you know and you wouldn't have it. So today I am giving tips for how to wake up early morning. Guys if you new here, here men's fashion, fitness, health, trending style, hair care, skin care, lifestyle tips and love tips. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. How do you start waking up early and enjoying it well? First you need to give your body some time to adjust. You're not just going to wake up early tomorrow and feel incredible right? Your body is not used to that yet it takes a little bit of time to adjust. My advice to you would be ease into it don't try to fall asleep at 9 pm when you've been sleeping at 3 am every night. If you go to bed at 3 am every night, you're doing it wrong and you need to slowly dial it back down alright. So go to bed at midnight tonight and then 10 pm tomorrow night. See how that works and then try to go for 9.30 the next night. If that's your goal then you will be able to hit it very very quickly. The next advice for how to wake up early morning. I have for you guys we're trying to wake up early and actually enjoy it is greet your day. Now what does that mean greeting my day? What do I say hello to my day yeah pretty much basically you welcome a new day. You look forward to your day. You know it's a guarantee that you're gonna have a nice successful productive morning at least. So what I would say is when you wake up instead of waking up with that bad mentality that bad energy of oh man I woke up so early. I'm so tried I just want to go back to bed. My bed is so comfortable stop that right now. That's just going to make it so much harder than it needs to be instead change your mindset. Wake up with a positive mindset as much as you have to push it down. Your throat I swear just wake up and say you know what today. I'm gonna have an amazing day. I'm gonna have a positive productive successful day. Let's get this going. Let's get it started it's like doing affirmations in the morning. It sets you up for success from the movement you wake up. Guys this next one I mean you saw this coming right? You need to do this in order to wake up early and that is sleep earlier as well. You cannot be going to bed after midnight. If you want to try to wake up early. The next day and be productive and have a good performance. Whether you're trying to play sports or going to work and have a work meeting you're not going to perform well. If you're not getting enough sleep. So you need to go to bed earlier and I say go to bed. But I actually mean sleep going to bed and watching Netflix or going on TikTok watching, YouTube videos is not going to do anything. You need to go to sleep. You need to turn off any phones any screens anything that you have going on and get to sleep. As you guys know if you go to bed at 10 pm you wake up at 6 am you had 8 hours of sleep. You wake up feeling really well recovered energetic and that is the best thing that you can do to start your day off right and that's what most doctors recommend right. They say 7 to 8 hours of sleep every night is ideal. So if you go to bed at 10 pm you can wake up at 5 and still be okay. But if you're going to bed at 12 you're not gonna be able to wake up until 8 am for you to have a productive morning. Now let's talk about sleep performance this is something guys. I'm not gonna lie to you this is something that I've been kind of obsessing over lately. As you know I'm all about improving my performance improving my health. The next on today list is working out early. Crossing off the gym early in the morning has so many benefits. You're way more likely to have an amazing workout in the morning rather than in the evening. Why well because you go about your day. You get a lot of work done. You go through a lot of stresses right? Whether it's work relationship whatever it is at the end of the day. The last thing you want to do is put more strain on your body. What you want to do is sit back and relax and that is not what working out is so you need to do it in the morning. That is the best time to do it you have all the energy in the world. Nothing has affected your mood yet. So it's time to get up and go work out and you're gonna find yourself more energized throughout the day. Because you already work out you feel good right? You're gonna reward yourself by working out in the morning and then not having to do it later that is an incredible feeling. My advice to you would be wake up right and then just chug some pre-workout get it going get your blood flowing and hit the workout. Whether it's a run the gym. Whatever it is that you do to stay active do it early in the morning. That's what I do. I wake up, I go straight to my fridge and I drink some pre-workout and I am out the door. I try not to think about it too much. Because when you start thinking about it right. All of a sudden, you start to make excuses in your head. Oh I have a busy day ahead I have so many things going on. Oh I didn't sleep very well my back hurts I have a little bit of a headache. 
Don't let those negative thoughts center your head just do the damn workout. That is all you need to do that's all you need to think about. This next tip is for you guys who like to snooze. You know who I'm talking about put your alarm clock far away from your bed and by alarm clock. I probably it's probably your phone right? The problem with having this right next to your bed is that you're sleeping this thing goes off and you just hit the snooze button without ever moving anything. The problem with having this right next to your bed is that you're sleeping this thing goes off and you just hit the snooze button without ever moving anything. But one arm and then you fall back asleep that is not good. If you're trying to wake up early the snooze button is not your friend. Let me tell you that you need to stay far away from it. So place this away from the bed in a place. Where you have to get up go over there and turn the alarm off don't even hit the snooze button at all. This is such a simple trick to make sure that you get up under the bed. Because otherwise it just gets way too comfortable. So make sure that you cannot reach it from your bed. Guy trust me and follow this tips. Guys make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our family. Thank you guys.